Hello, Fair Maine, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, overcast today for the Virgos with a good chance of some anxiety today. It's not you, it is the universe, Virgo. The moon in Aries putting emotional focus on trust, intimacy, and boundaries. So you're oversensitive, frankly, at the border. And those borders are everywhere. That could be literally sex. It could be worried about someone lying to you. It could be worried about being honest with yourself. Perhaps you're facing some sort of inner denial. So the pressure and the emotion of that may be more intense than reality really needs to have it be. All right? Just realize you may be having the volume up a little bit. Adding some pressure to the situation. The moon is squaring the sun, which means our emotions are on one train today and our awareness is on another. And if they're not talking, what happens is fear bubbles up. So if you do find yourself kind of surrounded by fear, well, that's exactly what you need to face and get rid of. Fear is an illusion. Don't forget that. Now, the focus of the sun in Leo is really on you having faith in yourself. You know, between 2005 and 2007, Virgos were doing some serious inner homework, facing childhood issues, facing old karma, facing past lives if you're old enough to have developed your psychic side and start to get into the past life work. And you're done with all that work, but you have not ever really stood in that power to a point where it can never be taken from you again. This month, everyone on the planet will be kind of claiming their power to all that 2005, 2007 soul work. And in the first eight days of this transit, you're going to be uncovering the last little details you have left to get rid of. A little I don't know what it is. They're, they're really dark clouds. We call them weeds in our soul garden. Little issues that we let our minds kind of take our power away from. These issues that wrap around our life. I don't think Virgos have any deep issues, but I, do, I think you have some last minute weeding, so to speak. One last thing I will say. On top of all this work, Pluto has retrograded into Sagittarius, which means you will also simultaneously, between now and Thanksgiving, be tested on your ability to self-mother yourself. You've done a lot of learning with that as well. And now it is time to show the world that you can be planted and not be pulled out. All right, Virgo, that's all I got for the day. I'll see you tomorrow with your weekend forecast. Live, love, be.